In this video, Lila Rose, founder of the anti-abortion nonprofit Live Action, speaks of how so much evil is done in this world under the name of compassion. But we're living in a bloodbath. Absolutely. And we're also living in a yeah. time when people think, you know, men can be women and women can be men yeah. and little children are being put yeah. on, you know, not even having puberty. Yeah. You know, they're being put on puberty oh. blockers and, oh. you know, you just hear the most heart-wrenching stories yes. and it's all done in the name of compassion. Yeah. And then she discusses how certain church leaders within the Protestant communities and potentially in others as well have bulked down under the pressure and have decided not to speak up against this evil. As a consequence, youth within these communities have fallen prey to these woke ideologies. Frankly, I can only agree with Leela. We can see these ideas implanted in a minority of the Coptic youth as well as in other denominations. And it is truly the duty of the clergy and ministers to speak the truth in love. So my humble message for those youth is this. Please understand that ideologies come and go. The church is not perfect, but yet it is the pillar and ground of the truth, as scripture says. Don't cling to any new ideology. New does not necessarily mean good. Only the ideologies within Christ are good. Like persecution that comes and goes, wokeism will come and go, but the church will continue to stand. The church is the body of Christ, and Christ did promise that the gates of hell will not overcome it. God is the truth, not relativist society. When we put our hopes in God, who is the loving being, who also happens to be the source of eternal truth and is unchangeable, only then we will find meaningful stability, purpose, and direction. The faith of the church does not need to adjust to the morality of society, but the opposite is true. If you want to be a Christian, then you need to make your peace with this fact. I am saying this out of love, not judgment. Do not be deceived by what is earthly and temporary.